So I'm going to show you a way on how you can automate your WordPress site. So essentially you have posts being published to your site. These are individual posts every single day on autopilot. First, let's take a look on how these posts look like. Let me go here to my history and then just go to my garden niche right here and show you what these posts actually look like. So you see the actual quality of the content that we're going to be pushing out. So these are all generated with AI, right? Even the featured image, the table of contents, all this, which is interactive, the actual article structure, sorry, the internal links linking out to other articles on our site, the tables, the in-article images, the in-article videos that should be popping up here so that are relevant to what the article is about. And also down here, a call to action to our offer, right? So all of these were generated with AI and we can just simply uh, go here and post them to our integration, which could be WordPress or any other site. But let's cover first before I show you uh, how to do it, how to actually generate these articles because the connection is super easy. You just go here to your integrations tab right here, new integration, select whichever one you want. In this case, it's going to be WordPress, but you can do Shopify, Ghost, Wix, Webflow, Bloggers, Zapier, or even an external API. But before we do so, let's go over how we can actually generate content like the one I showed you, right? So let's go to generate articles. And again, before I do so, right, remember that Journalist AI it connects with your website, in this case, your WordPress site, right? And every single day, every single week, every single hour, it's going to be pumping out these individual blog posts. This is your website, right? And these are all individual blog posts. And if we expand, right, let's expand one of these blog posts, these blog posts are all going to have a featured image, a table of contents, a proper structure, of course, in-article images, in-article videos, both relevant to what the content is about tables, bullets, internal links, or links to other pages or to other blog posts on your site, right? If this blog post is about cats, maybe we're going to link out to a blog post about uh, cat colors, right? Also, external links, linking out to authoritative sources in your niche. For example, if this article is about finance, we're going to link out to TechCrunch, Investopedia, uh, Bloomberg, and all these other trustworthy sources in your niche. And also down here, like I said before, a call to action to your product, services, offerings, whatever it is that you're offering, right? So that's really the power of Journalist AI. And also, by the way, before I do show you how it works, you can set up an auto blog, right, uh, to do automate this and then choose how many articles you want to post to your blog every single month, weekday, or every 12 or 6 hours. So you can just post 300 articles every single week if you'd like, right? And this is going to be running on autopilot. So Journalist AI connecting with your WordPress blog, and it's going to be generating, plus it's going to be publishing the content, in this case, 300 articles every single week, to your WordPress blog, right? 300 articles every single week. Now, on top of that, and again, before I show you the, the actual uh, how it actually works, it also does keyword research for you. So you go here, new monitor, add your own website, and essentially it analyzes your site, right? Just put in your domain, the language, the country. It's going to analyze your site. It's going to analyze the competition as well. It's going to come up with the keywords that have the lowest search difficulty so that are easier to rank for with somewhat decent search volumes. And just go here, select the ones you want, right? Then just leverage journalists to, again, connect it to your website right here. And it's going to do the keyword research for you. That's a K. Then the generation, then the publishing to your website. And also the indexing. That's an I. Because right here, you go to indexers. You can set up an indexer so we allow you to index your content faster. Right? Pretty cool. There's a lot of more features here, like using your own custom images, being having the content being brand tailored. But I'll go over that in just a second here. Let's go over how to actually generate the article. So go here. There's all these modes, simple mode, titles mode, or keywords mode. Simple mode is pretty straightforward. Just give it a business description and URL. Select however many articles you want to generate and just select language. You get access to over 150 different languages. So if you're targeting the international markets, Portugal, Spain, Greece, Turkey, whatever it is, right, you can leverage their own language and their actual um, and target, uh, target their actual uh, international markets. So super, super powerful. Then titles mode, pretty straightforward. You just give it a couple of titles, select the language, click generate, and journalists AI will generate content. Uh, based on those titles. Keyword mode, similar, right? You give it keywords, select language, and generally say I will give you content based on those keywords. Now, the fun begins with the advanced mode, right? So if you go here, create a preset, we give you access to all of these seven steps. And this is where the fun begins, right? This is where you can do the actual fun stuff. So the number one, based again, selecting your generation mode, right? Keyword based, specific titles or business description, set that up, and then we move on to brands. Now the brand, real quick here, I won't go over how it works in specific, but a brand, you can connect your brand with journalists. So by connecting journalists with your brand, and note that your brand has assets, right? Assets associated with it, that's an A, whether that's a YouTube channel, your Facebook page, your website, some documents, 
your Instagram, your Twitter, whatever it is, right? Your brand has assets. These are all branded assets, right? So if you're connecting your brand with journalists, you're connecting your brand's assets with journalists. And so journalists will learn, right, about your brand. So it will know as much as you do as the founder or owner of your brand. Thus, it's going to be producing brand-tailored content with your brand's mannerisms, with your brand's tone of voice, with your brand's images. So it won't be generic content generic AI content is going to be brand tailored content. So it's super powerful and you can select your brand here after you create one. So that's step one. Step two, the content, right? Again, you can choose from over 150 different languages. So again, if you're targeting the international markets, this is super, super powerful. Some people like to integrate this with Shopify and set up auto blogs. So a blog that publishes content every single day in other market in, for example, Spanish to target the Spanish market to sell products on these markets. So super, super powerful you can do here. Again, moving on, you can choose the creativity levels. If you want articles that are more creative or original or a bit more correct or factual, this will, of course, depend on how you want your brand to come across and people to perceive your brand. You can also change the tone of voice of the content, be it more neutral, funny, informal, academic, uh, whatever you want, you can play around with this, as well as choosing the point of view, right? Uh, moreover, you can choose, you can give it custom instructions. So number two here, the content, I recommend you just try this out for yourself. I'll leave a link for this in the description. It's tryjournalist.com. I also leave it in the pinned comment down below. You get access to three free articles, by the way. But I do recommend you try this out first because this section, you can play around with it and tailor it to the best of your abilities to match, match your brand. So pretty, pretty powerful here. Then moving on to internal linking. So this is where essentially you can set, a, set up your sitemap here if you don't know how to do it. We, we have a tutorial here as well. But essentially, you're connecting you, on the articles you should generate, sorry, you will have internal links, so linking out to your homepage, linking out to another another article on your site, right? Maybe linking out to uh, your contacts page, right? These are not random at all, right? Both the anchor text, which is a little text you click to go to the link, as well as the paragraph in which that anchor text is included, included in, sorry, are in accordance and in context with the article as a whole, right? We don't force links, we don't force calls to action, we don't force anything, right? Same goes for external linking. If you just tick this on, right, we're gonna read through the article you generate and figure out where's the best place to add links to external sources. Like I said, if this is an article about finance, we're gonna link out most likely to um, finance-related uh, websites like Investopedia, Bloomberg, and all those. Again, not in random places. These are only places placed in places that make sense in the context of the paragraph, near the context of the article itself. So you just set that up automatically or you can add your own links manually if you want. So that's pretty straightforward. Then moving on to number six, images, right? You can set a featured image, you can set in article images or you can enable or disable this if you like. But here you give ac you get you get access sorry, to seven, uh, sorry, five image generation um, tools. So first one is stock images, right? Second one is Google's license-free photos. You can add and use your own custom images, or if you'd like, we give you access to two free AI, not free, but two AI uh, generation models, DALI 3 and Stable Diffusion. I'd recommend you try this one out. It's pretty cool what it can do. Um, and yeah, finally, video, you can just enable this and on the articles you produce, right? We'll read through them, then we'll go on YouTube and figure out where what's the best video we can add and where's the best place we can add it on this article. So relevant internal videos added to your article just with a toggle of a button. Or you can add your own ones here manually if you'd like. Then just click create new preset, go back to generate articles, go to advanced mode, select your preset, right? Select how many articles you want to generate, click generate, and there we go. You have 300 articles generated, right? After you do so, you can go to history right here and click here to view and view them one by one. View them, publish, view, publish, or you can just click here, publish all, publish all too, or like I said, if you want, you just go to auto blog, Actually, go to integrations, create an integration with your WordPress site, then go to auto blogs, create an auto blog, and then Journalist AI is going to be connected with your WordPress site. It's going to be publishing articles every single day, week, hour, just like the ones that I showed you before. So super, super powerful tool. Again, I'll leave a link for this in the description. Uh, it's tryjournalist.com. I'll leave it also in the pinned comment. Try it out. I mean, you get access to three free articles. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know as well. Just Click this bubble right here and let me know why you didn't like it because we're constantly improving the tool and making it better every single day. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Try it out and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.